Imagine a scene straight out of a science fiction movie. A giant and powerful wasp swoops out of the sky and kidnaps innocent humans. Or massive man-eating spiders rule the streets, lifting cars and searching for prey. Chaos ensues as people run for their lives and hide. Could this scene possibly be our reality if insects were as giant as humans? Would insects try to eat us? And could we even stand a chance? What dangers would we face if insects were our size? Come with us and we will answer all this as we explore the wild possibility of a world where insects are as large as humans. Would insects really eat us or would they just eat other animals? The answer is yes. They may try to eat us and other animals as well. Survival is the name of the game in this world, and insects do what they must to survive. Just as humans sometimes have no problem swatting an insect, they will likely have no problem preying on us. But how can we predict if an insect would eat us if it was our size? We just need to look at their diet. What does it eat now? If they are carnivorous, they would most likely eat us as well if they were much larger. Carnivorous insects such as ants could indeed become a threat to any human. Some ants, who can carry up to 5,000 times more than their body weight, may be unstoppable if they reach our size. Although spiders are not insects, we include them for the sake of this video as well. They would also hunt humans if they were much bigger. Some spider silks have the tensile strength of 1,000 megapascals, trapping us beyond our control. For reference, steel is only about 400 to 800 megapascals. Insects would also have more physical capability than humans, as they can not only walk on the ground, but on the walls as well, and also jump great distances, and in some cases, even fly. Insects such as mosquitoes and fleas already dine on us. What's to stop them if they become our size? Mosquitoes have been around for about 200 million years. At their tiny size, the well-equipped females can detect their next blood meal by sight and emissions of carbon dioxide, lactic acid, and infrared radiation. And they can do this from up to 100 feet away. When she pierces the skin, she uses six different needles to penetrate it. If a female will drink her body weight in blood to nourish her eggs, how much feasting will she do upon us when she is our size? Instead of a tiny little telltale buzz of wings in our ear, what will those powerful wings sound like? Fleas already almost wiped out Europe during the 1300s by spreading the Black Death. Fleas have been around long before humans and can survive for six months or more on just one blood meal. They can cause different diseases and multiply very quickly. Who knows the power they'll hold when they are our size? Other insects that would most likely eat us if they were our size or even bigger are dragonflies, praying mantis, hornets, and many more. Perhaps the cockroach will present another challenge. These scavengers inspire fear and disgust in many people, but they have some characteristics that can be admired. They can live for up to a week without their head and up to a month without food. Try finding a human who can say they can do the same. These insects have been around since the dinosaurs, proving themselves as extremely resilient creatures. However, they are harmful to humans because they cause allergies and asthma attacks and can spread over 30 different types of bacteria. Therefore, the bigger the cockroach, the more of a threat to human health it will pose. Cockroaches eat pretty much everything. While we may not be their primary food source if they were our size, they might still attack us if they couldn't find anything else. Humans who are sensitive to insect bites may be in dire danger when these creatures are as big as us. What would typically cause minor swelling and itchiness may turn into a life-threatening case of anaphylaxis. 
The medical world would have to adapt to this problem, and people who are allergic would have to be more careful in their daily lives to prevent disasters. We currently have an intellectual advantage over insects, but we must entertain the thought, when they are our size, will their brain size allow for more intelligence? Insects are a lot smarter than we often give them credit for. Many have three lobes in their brain and a significant amount of neurons. How realistic is the notion that insects can grow to our size? Although it is possible, it's undoubtedly not plausible, at least not for now. There is an interesting hypothesis regarding the giant size of insects. If our atmosphere somehow had more oxygen available, insects would grow significantly and keep on growing. How? Well, 300 million years ago, insects were a lot bigger than their current size. Imagine a dragonfly the size of a hawk. Ants the size of hummingbirds. These goliath insects existed because of the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. Back then, there was much more availability of oxygen, about 35% as opposed to the approximately 21% available today. Therefore, when oxygen is reduced, insects get smaller. When exposed to more oxygen, they grow larger, and some species can even grow up to 20% in just one generation. Who knows how the Earth will change over the next million years? If humans aren't around, human-sized insects may be a genuine possibility because they will have one less threat to deal with. Another reason they may have shrunken is to avoid being eaten. As birds evolved, they preyed on tasty insects. It is thought that the smaller insects survived more often, as they were able to dodge the predators faster. For insects to get large again, they will need to grow special defenses to use against birds. Once they grow big enough, they may start to prey on birds as they work their way up the food chain. But could we defend ourselves against man-eating insects if they were our size? On a one-to-one -one fight, obviously not, but what about with our advanced technology? It would certainly be a very difficult task. As previously mentioned, ants, for example, can carry up to 5,000 times more than their body weight. That would mean that a six-foot-long ant may be able to carry a jumbo jet. Imagine the raw power of an attack! But not only that, there are far more insects on Earth than humans. According to estimations, for every individual human, there are approximately 200 million insects. That means we are far outnumbered. Another problem would be that insects live pretty much everywhere and almost worldwide, in the cities and rural areas, in the water, under the surface of the earth, and even in the air. That sets them apart from other animals that could eat us. Let's take lions, for example. They live in a fixed territory and almost never leave it. It is unlikely that a lion would enter into a city to hunt humans. If you get attacked by a lion, it happens most likely in their territory or in captivity. But the problem with giant insects is that they live almost everywhere where humans live. The only safe places would be ice-cold regions like Antarctica or maybe the open sea. Whether or not we could defend ourselves depends also on how fast they grow. If they grew our size or even bigger out of nowhere, we would probably lose against them for the reasons mentioned previously. They are physically much stronger, live pretty much everywhere where we live, and we are far outnumbered. The human race would not be properly prepared and could only survive in cold regions where no or very few insects live. The only safe way to avoid that scenario would be to interrupt their growth process through making them go extinct before they grow significantly in size. We must remember that not all insects our size would be scary. Imagine the magnificent beauty of butterflies or bees that we could get to appreciate more. We would have an abundance of honey from bigger bees, that is, if they were still willing to share. 
Not every bug would want to pick a fight or eat us. Insects may very well be as large as humans someday. It may take millions of years, evolutionary developments, and a significant increase in oxygen in the atmosphere. But it can happen if we don't interrupt the process. Insects will continue to play their essential role in the ecosystem, no matter their size. And perhaps someday, they may even match our intellect. The possibilities are endless when it comes to evolution. Only time can tell. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, check the notification bell, and comment below.